Welcome to Trinity Academy Metric Higher Secondary School. I am T. Mahalakshmi. Today, I am going to take Class 5, Unit 3, Major Landforms. In the previous lesson, we discussed about the parallels and meridians, the important parallels, prime meridians and how to locate the places. Today, we are going to discuss about the major landforms. Major landforms are nothing but the physical features of the earth. Now, let us move on to the earth's surface. The earth is made up of land and water. Around 29% of the earth's surface is covered by land and 71% by water. The surface of the earth is not the same everywhere. Some parts are flat and level, while others are raised. Landforms are natural features of the Earth's surface. The major landforms of the Earth's are mountains, plateaus, plains, deserts and rivers. Again I repeat, the major landforms of the Earth are mountains, plateaus, plains, deserts and rivers. Now, let us look into the first major landform. Mountains, a landform which prominently rises from the surrounding land, are mountains. It rises to a height of more than 900 meters above mean sea level. Mountains cover about 20% of the total land area of the earth. How much percentage children? 20% of the total land area. We have 29% of the land area and this 29% is considered into 100% and the mountains consist of 20% of the total land area of the earth. Mountains differ in height and shape. The height and shape of mountains depend on their age. They have very steep slopes. Children, what do you mean by steep? Steep is nothing but the sudden rise or fall of land. The highest point of a mountain is called peak or summit. What is the highest point of a mountain called? The highest point of a mountain is called peak or summit. Now children, which is the highest peak in the world? Yes, Mount Everest is the highest peak in the world. Now let us learn more about mountains. The difference in height and shape is due to the age of the mountains. Yes, mountains also have ages. The mountains are classified into older mountains and young mountains. Children, we can see the examples of young mountains and older mountains. The Himalayas and the Alps are young mountains with conical peaks. The top of the mountains is conical in shape. The Aravallis and the Appalachians are very old mountains and are lesser in height and have rounded peaks. Several mountains may join together to form a chain or a range. Example, Andes in South America and Rockies in North America. Now, let us discuss about the importance of mountains. Children, do you think mountains are useful to us? Yes, it plays a vital role in many ways. Mountains have a thin soil cover and steep slopes. It is difficult to grow crops. The mountain regions are thinly populated. Why mountains are thinly populated? This is due to an unsuitable climate, shortage of flat land and difficult to move from one place to another. Despite this, mountains are very useful. Children, now we can see how they are useful to us. 
mountains act as a barrier against cold and hot winds what is mean by barrier they protect us from blowing cold and hot winds blowing across the country rivers originating from mountains provide water for irrigation children can you tell me the rivers that originate from the mountains yes river satluj river brahmaputra river ganga they flow in plains and make the land fertile the slopes of mountains have rich pasture lands and valuable forests some mountains are rich in minerals plateaus a plateau is a high land with a flat top it is also known as table land children just look at the table it is flat on the top in the same way the plateaus are flat on the top like table it rises abruptly from surrounding land what is mean by abruptly it means its sides have steep slopes steep is nothing but a sudden rise or fall of land like mountains many rivers and streams flow through plateaus example river kaveri now let us learn more about plateaus some plateaus are very large and extend over hundreds of kilometers the deccan plateau in india is an example the tibetan plateau is the largest and highest in the world children which is the largest and highest plateau in the world the tibetan plateau is the largest and highest plateau in the world it is surrounded by mountain ranges on all side next we can see other examples of plateaus colorado plateau in north america and bolivian plateau in south america most plateaus are in dry regions and on the leeward side of the mountains children what do you mean by leeward side leeward side means the side of the mountain that is sheltered from winds it gives very little rainfall due to the high altitude the climate is cold and growing season is short many plateaus have deep canyons on their surface what is canyons a deep valley with steep side made of rocks example the grand canyon in the colorado plateau in usa next we can see the importance of plateaus how they are useful to us plateaus have grasslands on which cattle and sheep are reared some plateaus are rich in mineral deposits next we can move on to the another landform that is plains 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 are nothing but a flat and low lying land surface they are also called lowlands now how these plains are formed the plains may be formed by deposition of sand and silt by rivers what is mean by silt silt is a fine thin sand rivers carry silt and sand with them all this deposition of sand and silt forms plains every continent have definitely all these landforms and in most of the continents plains are in the interior parts of continents while some are near the coast plains are more thickly populated than mountains and plateaus in india gangetic plains are thickly populated areas now let us see about the importance of plains plains have fertile soil and fertile soil is suitable for agriculture most ancient civilization came up on the banks of the river on the plains most big cities and towns are located in the plains children why most of the cities and towns are located near the river banks because it is easier to construct roads railways aerodromes and canals
Now let us move on to the next major landform, deserts. Children, the deserts receive very less rainfall. They experience dry climate, characteristics of deserts. Deserts have very hot days and cold nights. It have frequent dust storms. Deserts have hills of sand called sand dunes, region with very little rainfall and less vegetation. Cactus and date palms grown here. Most deserts are located on the western side of continents and on the leeward side of mountains. Examples for deserts are Sahara Desert and Kalahari Desert in Africa. The Great Sandy Desert and the Great Victoria in Australia. The Thar Desert and the Arabian Desert in Asia. Atacama Desert and the Patagonian Desert in South America. Rivers Children, we all learnt about various rivers. Ganga, Yamuna, Brahmaputra, etc. Yes, rivers are freshwater resources. Rivers are natural channels that carry rainwater or water from melted ice and snow from mountains to plains, lakes, seas. These channels start as a stream and join together to form a river from the place where it origins to its mouth. Children, mouth means the place where a river joins the sea or a lake. From the place where it origins to its mouth, a river passes through three stages. That is first one, the upper or the young course. Second one, the middle or the mature course. And the third one, the lower or the old course. Now, let us discuss about the first stage, the upper or the young course. Most rivers originate in the mountains. Here, the speed of the river is very fast. The river cuts a deep and narrow channel in the mountains. Some features of the upper course are canyons, waterfalls and rapids. Children, rapids mean part of a river where the water flows very fast over rocks. Next, middle or mature course. The middle course of the river begins when it leaves the mountain and enters the plains. When it enters the plains, children you know that plains are flat and low lying land surface. Yes, when the river enters in the plains, it widens and the speed of the water decreases and the river develops loops which are called meanders. Loops are nothing but the curves of rivers which are known as Meanders. Example, River Ganga has a meandering course between Prayagraj, that is Allahabad and Varnasi. Next, we can see the third stage of rivers, the lower or the old course. In the lower course, the river joins a bigger water body such as seas. The speed of the river becomes very slow in this course. The river deposits the silt. It carries near the mouth forming a triangular shaped called delta. The largest delta in the world is formed by the Ganga and the Brahmaputra rivers before they join the Bay of Bengal. That is the Sundarbans delta which is largest delta in the world. Next we can recap the lesson. Mountains, plateaus, plains, deserts and rivers are some landforms on the earth's surface. Mountains are the highest landforms. They have peaks. Plateaus are highlands rising from the surrounding areas. They have flat tops. Flat and low-lying land surfaces are called plains. They are thickly populated. Deserts are large areas covered with sand. They receive very little rainfall. A river passes through Three stages, upper, middle and lower before reaching the sea. Hope you all have understood the lesson. Thank you children.